Hi YouTube. Um, well, I'm back again and I'm going to be putting together a new series of videos and this is going to be kind of an overview video of what I'm going to be talking about. Over the summer I got a new to me uh, Jeep uh, Wrangler Rubicon and I'm going to be going over the various upgrades that I made to it and uh, giving you a little bit of review and a little bit of install uh, for all the different upgrades. This video is primarily just going to be a quick overview of what's going to be coming up over the course of the next couple of months. Well, first, um, why did I buy the Rubicon? This is a 2012 Rubicon. I didn't buy the 2014 mainly because it would have been a lot of additional money that I could put into upgrades. So I bought a 2012 because in 2012 uh, they made a couple of significant upgrades. Probably one of the biggest ones that was they went to the Pentastar V6 engine which is a much better engine than they had in previous years. So that's where um, that's where I wanted. That was the biggest upgrade I wanted to get for the 2012. I got the Rubicon model because what the Rubicon has in it is a couple of different features that make it significantly more capable off-road. Uh, and those include things like the both front and rear lockers uh, that are electronically controlled from the driver from the driver's compartment as well as a sway bar disconnect which makes the car um, much easier to handle off-road. Now that gives me a good platform to build off of. As far as some of the upgrades that I made, um, I did a lot of work with Rugged Ridge. This is the Rugged Ridge um, hood hold down clamps. Uh, I like these better than the original ones because uh, they're metal and they're also infinitely adjustable. Uh, one of the things that the Jeep is known for is as you go a little bit faster sometimes you get a little bit of hood flutter because the original rubber clamps don't hold the hood down as tight. So this is a real nice secure locking and adjustable hood clamp. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to move around to the front of the Jeep and we're going to take a look at some more upgrades. On the front of the Jeep a couple of big um, improvements and upgrades that I made. The first thing that I did was I replaced the front, the uh, the factory front bumper with the Rugged Ridge XHD bumper. It's an extra heavy duty bumper. One of the th big things I liked about it was the fact that it was module. It, ha it, it has a center section which um, you can mount a winch on, which I've done. And in addition to that the center section, I added uh, the two ends are lockable storage containers and so it gives me a little bit of extra place to put things like um, recovery straps, chains, things that I don't want rattling around the, the passenger compartment. Uh, this is the uh, this is the overrider hoop that they make for it. Uh, they make a couple of different types of, thing, of, the, of, uh, of hoops that you can get but I picked this one because it's lower profile but it does still protect the winch. I also mounted in here a Champion 10,000 pound winch, which I had uh, laying around. Uh, if I was going to buy one, I would probably go with uh, with a worn winch, but the Champion is what I have for right now, so that is what I have mounted on the front. Uh, the next upgrade that I made was right here. I put a, a set of KC highlights, and the KC highlights are mounted to KC highlight brackets and those brackets uh, mount right to the windshield. One of the things that was really important to me in all of my different upgrades was I did not want to have to drill any holes in my truck. Uh, so everything that I did typically mounts to uh, the original factory holes so I'm not creating any kind of you know, possible points for rust. Now, what we'll do is we're gonna move around to the side of the truck and I'll show a few more interior upgrades. Now what I'd like to do is show you some of the interior upgrades that I made um, so far on the Jeep. Since I'm going to have a number of different sets of lighting on the Jeep, I installed the Rugged Ridge A-Post uh, switch pod. And what that allows me to do is it allows me to control up to four separate sets of lights. So by just flipping them, they're illuminated and they're also right in my field of vision and very easy to get at. I also added a Rugged Ridge um, grab handle which attaches to the A post on one side and then next to the windshield uh, visor on the other side it helps you get in. As we go around the interior uh, you can see I added a 
uh, 840 channel CB radio and one of the reasons that I added the CB radio was because there are times when you're off-roading uh, that you're out of cell phone coverage and if you get stuck or if something happens you always want to be able to get a hold of people and um, the police still monitor channel 9 which is the emergency channel so you can get out of trouble even if you don't have cell phone coverage. Now, uh, last thing that I want to show you from here is storage is always at a premium with a Jeep and the secure storage is even at more of a premium. For example, if I take the doors off the hard top during the summer I've got to have a safe place to be able to keep things. So, Tuffy makes a makes a storage drawer that fits underneath the driver's seat and it bolts down with two of the bolts that the that bolt the driver's seat in place. Uh, the one thing that I had to do with the Tuffy was I had to put um, some rubberized shelf lining because it's just bare metal on the inside and everything slid all over the place but uh, this drawer will, will lock so I don't have to worry about it coming open in an accident uh, and it provides me a lot of additional secure storage if I need it. Uh, next we're going to move around to the back of the Jeep I'm going to show you a couple of more upgrades that I've made. I also add, added another rugged ridge grab handle back here because especially for short people it can be a little bit challenging to get into the Jeep sometimes, especially down the road when I get it lifted. So we got an assist handle here. And then back here I added the Rugged Ridge uh, gas cap cover. They also make this in a lockable version so it could be practical as well as cosmetic. Uh, but it's just four screws that secure it in and uh, it's kind of a nice, nice piece of trim. It makes everything look a little bit more finished. Then I added, probably one of my bigger adds was my Gobi rack uh, because storage is always at a premium in a Jeep. Uh, I wanted a good way to be able to carry things on top of the Jeep. So I added a Gobi rack. These are made in the United States and it's probably one of my favorite adds so far. But very stable. Um, again, you don't doesn't require any drilling into the Jeep. Everything is mounted to existing holes, which was really important to me. So, go be rack. I'll definitely be doing another video on this. Back here, uh, another upgrade of more cosmetic than anything else is the, uh, is the uh, tail light protector. I believe this is also from Rugged Ridge. I did a lot of Rugged Ridge this year because they had a rebate, um, but they've also got very good products. So, this was the tail light, uh, the tail light protector. Uh, one, we're going to play one last move and we're going to go to the back of the Jeep. I'm going to show you the last upgrades that I've got, so I'll see you in a second. Last couple of upgrades that I want to talk about. Now we saw this Gobi rack from the side, but one of the features I really like about the Gobi is the fact that you can get uh, either a driver's side or passenger side ladder for it, which makes getting up and getting down much, much easier to get at your stuff. Along the top of the rack, I mounted my Rigid Industries SRQ backup lights because the factory backup lights you get with the Jeep are pretty pathetic. Uh, with these two Rigid Industries lights, I can clearly see 30 feet plus behind the Jeep and these are controlled from that switch pod that I showed you on the A post. I also have my Fire Stick uh, CB antenna and this is attached to a Rugged Ridge CB antenna mount uh, behind this tire. Inside, my next upgrade that I'm doing is going to be I'm going to be replacing uh, this factory plastic bumper with the Rugged Ridge XHD rear bumper, which is going to be much tougher and it's got more, uh, more tow points to it. On the inside, of the Jeep in the back of the roll cage. I mounted a high lift extreme uh, jack and that is mounted to two, uh, two special brackets that are from a company called Dominion Off-Road. Uh, very, very easy to install and a great way to secure a heavy piece of equipment. Uh, also inside, um, I installed the uh, Springtail uh, work shelf and storage rack. It includes everything that you see here in the kit. It includes the two bags which um, attach to the to the drawer um, or to the platform and shelf and 
It includes this drop down shelf. There are a couple of different ones like this on the market. This is the only one that I could find. I did not have to do any drilling whatsoever. It fits in, I didn't have to make any permanent modifications to the Jeep. Uh, and this shelf will easily handle a full 20 pounds, which is about what I have in my tool kit here. Uh, and it's a very handy place to be able to put things when I'm working on when I'm working. It just closes like that, but a nice solid piece of kit. Well, those are the upgrades that I've done so far on the Jeep, and I'm going to be making a number more as we get into next season. Um, I've got a two and a half inch lift. I've got some bigger tires, some different wheels, uh, along with a couple of other things to make uh, this Jeep even more capable off-road than it al already is. So um, on all of the different upgrades that I've got, if you want some more details on something or you want a longer, more detailed video, I'd be happy to do that for you. Please leave that down in the comments section. And those are the, those are the videos that I'll make first for you. So uh, as always, I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please favorite and like the videos. And as always, be safe, have fun, and hey, take your kids off-roading. Have a great day, everybody.